Time to get ready for Halloween. Uh, coming up on 6 o'clock on this Sunday. Hope you had a good weekend. Uh, you know, it wasn't a bad day. We had a little light rain here and there and there and here. That will be increasing overnight tonight. We're at 57 degrees. PDX is reporting light rain. And I want to show you, this is uh, the homepage on my desktop site, portlandweather.com. Notice the rain chance is 8 o'clock, 72%. 11 o'clock tonight goes to 83 91% chance, 5 in the morning. Do you think it's going to rain? Still 87%, 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Much of Halloween is flat out expected to be wet. In fact, if we get an inch of rain and forecast models like that we will, it will be the rainiest day we've had uh, in, in quite some time. So let's check out the, uh, the satellite picture. So here we are. There's a cold front that's embedded back in here that actually slowly comes in between the hours of 8 and 10 o'clock Monday morning into Portland. But basically underneath most of these clouds, it's raining. And all this is going to just take its time to slowly push across our area tomorrow. So that's going to give us a day where it could be raining, certainly more than not. And, and maybe it's steady rain just about all day long with rain totals going over an inch. I don't have any weather watches, warnings. Uh, it's fairly warm air still. Um, we're not really that unstable tomorrow. It's not expecting any stormy conditions. Snow levels are going to be high tomorrow at uh, 7,000 feet in the morning to 6,000 feet later in the day, which, which brings me to my seven-day forecast. So we started off in the 50s this morning. We'll probably do it again tomorrow morning, 52 to 58. Tuesday, now behind the front, Monday, eventually much colder air comes in Tuesday. Lowest snow levels of the season so far. So Tuesday, 46 to 53, heavy showers, absolutely expecting some hail. Snow levels drop down to 3,000 feet. Those snow levels on Wednesday could be down to 2. So both these days are a cold upper level low. I suppose, if anything, I would guess we have a higher number of showers Tuesday than Wednesday. But both of these days potentially are very active days. And when you're out in the middle of the afternoon on Tuesday or Wednesday and you get caught in the downpour, it will be in the 40s, rain cooled at that time. So those are cool days. Thursday, we get a break. Uh, could be a lot like yesterday, Saturday. We start off with fog, maybe drizzle. It was really quite wet in some spots Saturday morning around here yesterday. And then, you know, those low clouds may not clear. If they don't, we'll struggle to hit 50. Friday's pretty quiet, maybe a, a little bit of rain. And then going into the weekend, next weekend looks wet. In fact, Saturday, upcoming, looks like another day that could potentially, potentially produce an inch of rain. Don't forget to take the time to go down here and read uh, through what I'm saying each day. I give you some snow level information and, and rain totals. I do want to just bring up my um, Mount Hood page while I've got your attention. So here it comes. Yeah, 36 degrees up there right now. Meadows is 44. Again, the snow levels tomorrow are going to be 7,000 to 6,000 feet. This shows government camp at 49 tomorrow. There's the cooler weather, 37, 34. This could absolutely be some travel issues. And don't forget, you can check out the government camp ODOT camera on my Mount Hood page. Uh, this is available on my app as well. There we are, 44 degrees currently. That has a good chance, especially going into Wednesday morning, uh, being quite snow covered. So you'll need to check conditions if you're going to be traveling. Again, this YouTube page goes to my weather site, portlandweather.com. And with my app, and if you search Portland Weather in the App Store, both the Android and iPhone, you will come up to my weather site. All right, um, we'll see how much rain we get on Halloween, right? Our ghosts and goblins are going to need to be in full rain gear. I'll talk to you soon.